welcome to the visual diaries of 2023 my name is angela <laughs> guys i don't even know where to begin basically what the visual monthly diaries are is i'm supposed to keep in mind supposed to come on here on the end of every month so whether it's the 30th the 31st or the 28th of a, a month and come on here and explain how my month has been explain what i've done explain what god has done it's february the 5th i know i'm gonna be better each and every month the last week i haven't really had a good week um being open and honest i just haven't but essentially what january was was a month of um fasting it was a month of um lots of fasting um it was a month of off social media as well um actually mid-month i was on it like the start of the month but then i got got off it because i felt like i was supposed to if i talk about my spiritual life i'd say that this month i've grown in a way that i feel like god is setting me up for the year i always talk about you guys have probably heard this in all of my videos at the beginning of the year that like ever since my birthday and like that week and like stepping into 2023 i just kind of got insight into what god wanted to do and i felt like a lot of the things he was mentioning those though they may seem physical and like like though they may case things like projects and like opportunities and stuff that god might want to give me by his grace i feel like a lot of it was more so pertaining to my individual self and my morals and my character emotional self my identity so i feel like it was more so the enemy rather than what can come out of me um so i thought like that was what god was like working on and he's been doing that but like this month um yeah there's been a lot of that i've really enjoyed some of it not all of it's fun but like the pruning process isn't exactly fun because it's like god has taken out the branches that are like no you can't have that that's not what i have you want to be like me then you can't have that but the thing is it's exciting because um you asked to be christ-like so it means that i'm getting closer to being christ-like which makes me quite very happy because um i'm less of me and more of him as it says in the bible decrease so you increase yeah i remember probably it was this time last year like literally entire year ago maybe even before um me mentioning squad saying i just want to be deeper but it's so interesting because the word keyword for january was deeper deep calls to deep as it says in psalms 42 mm, i will check that my second year of university um it wasn't easy um i felt like the pruning process began then but it was like a different kind of pruning now i feel like there's more of a maturing like something that i feel like is i feel like there was things being implanted last year not that things aren't being implanted this year but i feel like they were being implanted and now it's like he's like work like molding what's been put in and like maturing that last year i remember asking god for like a deeper desire and just like i love to worship i love to do those things but like last year i wasn't it wasn't like my first thing that i was like oh yeah love to do that like um i'll be i'll be real like there's some things i'll be like i'd rather do this not like at that particular time but i mean like when people like are worshiping all the time or worshiping for long hours i would just be like mm now i can even see that deeper growth that god is like stretching me and like when i'm in his presence sorry i'm just leaning on this i don't know why i'm doing that when i'm in his presence i i just love it so much like, i'll even be complaining in church when worship is short i'm like can we can we keep going and i'm not saying it's easy i'm not saying every single moment you want to be reading your bible you want to be praying you want to be worshiping but like if you ask god he will strengthen your desire like this is me telling you guys like god can do that so deeply so don't ever feel like this is an internal thing that can't be changed like oh no this is too like ingrained within my system that i cannot enjoy things like worship like this is something you can definitely enjoy god makes your heart like so much more like him that all you want is him god has put within me that desire to keep on going deeper being with christ we all know we all know the scripture deny yourself deny yourself and take up your cross you know you give your life to jesus and we don't really sometimes deep what we are saying when we say we give our life to jesus so it's not an easy task the cost of discipleship is, is sacrifice this time last year some of the things that maybe i might experience or feel 
would cause me to withdraw from God because I just feel like if I go further, that's something I'm going to have to deal with. And I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather be one that runs from the problems. I'd rather be one that doesn't have to experience that. But now it's like, like if you take me deeper, Lord, if this happens in my life, I feel the certain way for this week. I have a bad week. Um, I'm having these thoughts um, that I feel like I cannot even contain, that I feel like are so out of my control. And it's like, for me, as you go deeper, you, you, you like release more control. You relinquish more self-control. Um, you like stop holding on something. It's like you're loosening your grip. That's the word. You're loosening your grip onto something. Um, because there's going to be times when you feel like you're not going to be able to fight for yourself. But the Lord will fight for you. It says in Exodus 14, 14 that the Lord will fight your battles. So there's going to be times when you feel like you cannot hold on as you go deeper. Because um, the enemy will attack you and he'll make you feel a certain way. And you want to withdraw from God because you feel like if you withdraw from God, then you might have to deal with these these things but that's essentially giving in to the enemy's attacks and allowing him to win so therefore he's not you know going to do anything much if he's you've already let him win but obviously if you keep fighting he's going to fight you but it's about knowing that the, your your faith is in a lord who is stronger and who's already won the battle deeper is knowing that you are not needing to fight this for yourself this is not me angela fights her own battles this is i trust in the lord to fight my battles and that is not going to stop me from going deeper. This spiritual warfare is not going to stop me from going deeper. This stressful moment is not going to stop me from going deeper. If I stop myself from going deeper, I will never live my life's full satisfaction. I will never live to where the Lord has set me to be. And there's some things you just have to sacrifice. I learned so much about sacrifice and so much about giving your life to Jesus this month. And I've learned about the hard things that I'm still learning about. And it's not fun. It's not easy, but um, I have strong belief that it is better. And what is better? And if the Lord tells me that it is better, I have to believe that it is better. And I've I've gotten to a point and deeper trust in the Lord so much more that I'm just like, Lord, if you say so, let me go. And the Lord will put that in your heart. That doesn't come from your own physical flesh heart. That is something the Lord puts within you. Um, and you have to let him go deep with him now. You will thank yourself. And I, I say this confidently as someone who's not even lived in her 30s and 40s and 50s. But I've heard from people. They're saying you thank yourself if you cultivate. Because you have time. Like There's certain things you won't have time for. And that's just the, the truth of things. Like the way that life is. I just pray that I'd be one that lives up to my word. That's even one of the prayers I've had like this month. Just to be a woman of my word. Because I so don't want to drop out of what I, I'm cultivating now. I know that it's hard and like yeah but like the lord will make you a stronger woman or a stronger man like he will he will help you like and i know by the end of the year or by his grace i will be so much stronger than i am now what day is it it's the 28th of february what have i done i improved from last month it's actually the last day of the the, the of the month like 11 30 i might need to cook and we fast tomorrow because of ccs and we flashed from 12 a.m. and I'm not had dinner. We just came back from praying. So let's recap the month. We went to the room which we're doing CCS in to pray for some time. And it was so good. Like God is doing a great move. One thing I've learned today is the enemy is such a lie. He's so he's so dirty. He's so ugly. My February has not been the best um in terms of mm, like my mental space i went to william adele the other day on friday and i had a bad like week that week and then when i went to william adele i just felt the presence of god so deeply but it was more like a joyful because sometimes i have the moments where like um i'm upset i feel the presence of god and i feel like crying like my eyes out but it wasn't that it was like i felt like just shouting like i felt like letting everybody know like, do you know jesus loves you do you know jesus loves you i was just jumping at the corner i was just looking like one i didn't care i said god what song um he will get alone no that's not even part of the album but he sang that though i began this week and i just felt a bit mm, but i was like i'm gonna tough it out because this week is so important for me because of ccs like um I'm speaking at the event this Saturday. Whoop, whoop, but you'll hear about that in March though, because that's part of March. 
and like i just uh, the thing is i always expect to be bothered by the enemy when it comes to like things that the lord has called me to do this week is very important and imperative for me to like be be in prayer i'm speaking my face is going to be on show there's going to be in front of 150 people or something like that I'm trying to provide people with words of wisdom i don't want to be in a place where like i'm upset or i let my emotions get to me really praying which is actually good that we're fasting corporately as an exec i feel so strongly in my spirit that the lord wants me to speak and he wants me to utter words and he's put within me something great but for the past like this entire month has just been me beating myself down and telling myself that I don't have words of wisdom, that I cannot speak in public, that I don't know. Like, And I know I'm going to testify of something great by the end of the year, by the way. By the end of December, we all know like, God is too good for me to be in the same space. That I would know like, there's a change in, tra in the trajectory of my thought that is going to happen. As somebody who serves at Pensa um, and somebody who's also like on social media and everything, like... I kept on comparing the two and thinking that I need to be a certain way for like I usually share this with my friends so I'm not going to go too deep in this because as I said in one of my posts there's a difference between transparency and vulnerability but just essentially the idea that um public speaking like something that I know the God, that l the Lord wants me to do and I should not shy away from it I would say pray for me but the event's gonna happen by the time but I'm praying god is doing something great like, this is bigger than me this isn't even about me ccs is not about me it never was about any one individual apart from god so um i just felt a strong sense to like just allow god's name to be lifted up high and then you will see the fruits like, you won't have to worry about thinking oh am i doing this right do i look good do i do this like no like if god is at the center things will just go as like i, I believe i'm going to testify this by the end of march and like even as the enemy's trying to get in my mind right now. Why don't you go away? You're trying to make me think that um why do you have so much faith or why do you feel so confident? Mm. So many lives are gonna be like pushed and moved and like catalyzed into the creative industry. Okay, God has called some people to be pioneers in the creative industry. Why is Toyosi calling me? Toyosi, I'm doing a video. But anyway, I had buy up and obviously um these are like Four weeks which is actually pretty good it's just the one that chipped i should be getting it done because i can't take this to ccs like anyway my ccs app is come february for me was actually good i went to a youtube masterclass which was so fun literally went to google headquarters which is amazing like so big so we got to meet some amazing creatives i went home i didn't see my parents and my sister for six weeks which is disgusting to me six weeks i felt so happy i was only there for a day though because i couldn't stay i was just on a separate note it's so important to pray for your family and basically on friday i went to london fashion week for the first time i got told on wednesday night because i came to london just for the youtube masterclass and to stay at home for like a day i didn't bring makeup i didn't bring anything i didn't bring clothes so i was like oh i don't know if i should stay and then i had a work commitment as well so i was like okay let me go back do this thing for work and then come back the next day and i know it would be stressful but i was like who's gonna pass up london fashion week? if you went back to london fashion week, would you not angie baby at london fashion week they don't <laughs> allow yourself to see where god can take you guys god whatever thought you have of god right now expand it because he's even greater i started doing content again posting on consistently um whilst doing uni like uni got more intense as well which i didn't even do i got more intense dissertation stuff is is creeping in um the lectures are were getting harder and harder to understand like i kept on sleeping i not kept on i keep on because it's actually present tense sleeping in my lectures i don't get sleep guys just in general by the way i don't actually get sleep so like my average sleep is like four to six hours on a good day even if i get seven to eight hours i'll still wake up i'll be tired god has showed me his faithfulness in terms of like clarity i i pestered god like i pestered him like genuinely that god like i need to know what i'm doing for my life like mm, i'm not gonna like we all know it's not psychology so what are we doing and i was <laughs> not like that 
But you know, I was just like, what what am I doing with my life? I'm just here. And like, because God was always seeing stuff in me and he's like made it more clear across like up until now, I just feel very much in a blessed position because it's very much normal to be in a position in final year where you don't know what you're doing afterwards. And it doesn't mean that you're kind of reckless because nobody at this university of work is reckless anyways. Everybody is they've got it going but it's just like to pin it down and be like okay right this is my career it's not easy so i feel blessed to be in a position where it's like i i kind of know where i'm going though there's still some um fuzzy parts and it's like okay this needs to be clarified like in general i'm like okay like god knows okay fashion route fashion designer fashion styling content creation these are three things that i believe are going to be somewhat consistent over the next few years when it comes to career like have peace that the lord will tell you but also don't just sit back and do nothing like if you want to know about your career if you want to know about where you're going ask the lord because he will give it to you like the bible says ask and you shall receive i did for years like it wasn't a small thing mm -mm. i've been doing this since before university i've been praying i've struggled a lot with my emotions this month but i also think like god is teaching me about my emotions and how to handle it it's just that i'm like in the season where i'm learning about it because like, i have a lot on my plate um I was learning like not to still compromise the gift of friendship even though it seems like oh there's so much going on right now like there's so much beauty in being around people and even like in your darkest moments those are the people that are going to be there for you so like even as i was saying i had really tough times this moment this month i feel like even in small conversations i was still able to like open up and just express my emotion and it made me feel a lot better afterwards so um don't forsake the gathering of the brethren i found myself chasing a lot this month like trying to be on top of everything and this month if i'm honest i've not been on top of everything and the way i can account for that is my google calendar there was a point where i was consistent on like um 22 pending tasks like 22 like things that i actually need to do and i'm just not doing them and it's like you almost trivialize it so well i almost trivialize it like no like you actually don't need to do that reading it's not that deep no you actually don't need to sew but you actually do need to do those things angela i actually sewed the top and it flopped and i actually broke it because it got stuck in the sewing machine so but i try not to be upset about that i was like whatever um it just i just don't need that top then hey party people so q1 is officially done we're currently going through like um essay exam season and it's just not very cute and me having makeup on my face right now is even a bit of a shocker essay writing there's been no time to be looking cute like this there's a couple updates of course as you guys can see i have my natural hair out you guys have probably not even have you have never seen this before you have never seen this before this is new for you it's new for me too it's my first time straightening my hair because on sunday i will be filming a youtube video about like my natural hair struggles like just just how i feel about my natural hair but i've had a bit of a i'm having a bit of a shift with my youtube channel like in terms of the content that i'm sharing i'm not it's not that i'm not going to do vlogs anymore but i'm gonna take a step back and focus on other things like maybe chit chat videos including my friends and um just other things that are less vloggy and more like maybe a little bit of teaching or like maybe a little bit of when i say teaching i mean like maybe like fashion i'm not gonna preach for you there are pastors for that um and maybe just yeah more chit chat kind of vibe um because people have recommended that i do that i absolutely do not want to stick a wig on my head for like the next three months because i'm actually tired like why is there glue on my forehead the q1 is done and it was pretty good i mean it ended off strong and i came home last friday from uni because i spent two weeks after we finished term just chilling and doing my work there and i really like the peace of coventry when there's not the hustle and bustle of uni like when nobody's there it's really fun but what can i say about march guys god gave me ideas as well in terms of some projects that are coming up this year a content masterclass i don't know what it's going to be called because there's going to be more than one masterclass so it's not actually a masterclass it's to, it's like an event but i don't know what to call it but we'll wait until the spirit drops it on my heart it was exciting to see where god kind of catalyzed some moments because just in q1 i've had three speaking engagements and not only in q1 they were all in march 
and I didn't exactly expect all of them. Like, um, obviously CCS, I spoke 4th of March, um, the Amor event, I spoke 18th of March, and then I spoke at a, a secondary school, um, 30th of March, last week. So they were all basically two weeks apart, and it was kind of interesting. I was like, okay, well, Holy Spirit, this is what you want me to do. It's been a great growth for me as somebody who used to stray away from speaking and be like no, i'm not gonna talk like you don't need to hear my voice it's not important what i say da, 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 da. I still go through those motions now but um we are growing and glowing of course because i've been given opportunities for my voice to be heard and i believe that i'll continue to have those opportunities by the grace of god like you need to really stress me out i don't really want to talk about that <laughs> that dissertation girl finishing term two was crazy like finishing that in march i was like bro like you're telling me I have no more lectures, no more nothing, like this is it for school. Um, I think last time in February I was talking about how I don't have any Brad collabs and I was really upset. And I still, well I have one, um, I haven't actually applied to them, but it's gifted and um, do you know what I mean? Like I need some money. I think it's more just like waiting on God because before I thought it was like, oh no, it's because um, you've not been posting that kind of content yeah like i've not emailed anyone but now i have well i haven't emailed that many people but like i started emailing i've started doing that again and i feel like my emails are good and that's just my mindset like oh it should happen immediately but i think everything was timing one thing i learned yesterday i know april right but like i learned about just be appreciating slow growth as well this has nothing to do with collabs by the way but like just in general like obviously i haven't had a my platform hasn't gone viral or like you know had that one block video that's gotten me like 10k 20k but it's like having that viral moment and then not being able to sustain it is like the worst thing in the world like you don't want to be in that position so um the youtube video i was watching yesterday the girl was saying um like appreciate slow growth because you get to have the opportunity to build a community whereas those who grow fast it's kind of hard to build that community or you're almost doing playing catch up but it's like you guys are going on the same pace with me i'm going on the same pace as you because like we're both growing together, we're both going together, and period. And that is, at the end of the day, I prayed for community and it's what I'm being given. What I just wanted to end off with is that March has genuinely been great. Like, I have been given so many ideas by God. Not exactly how to steward them, I'm still praying to the Holy Spirit about that. I've had calls with people as well, even after CTS and all of that. Like, that's given me a lot of clarity in terms of what to do next, because I have had my moments this month, I mean, in March, where I was kind of like, bro like what am i actually gonna do with my life like after i leave uni like what am i doing everybody's doing grad roles everybody's getting work in the corporate world and obviously it's very scary when it's like and i go to work university which is very academic uni but it's just like people are going for those roles and it's like obviously that's not what i want to do um but it's like i know i'm not going to be a bum like that's just not even my <laughs> who am i a daughter of thank you i just know what the lord has graced me with and at the end of the day, if my destiny isn't just attached to me and it's attached to other people, then I cannot be a bum. So, oof, what has this April been? Essays. That's it. Do you like my hair? The bum has come out, but it's giving grown. It's giving woman. It's giving 20, 21, almost 22. I'm actually not almost 22. Mm. My exams start on the 17th of May until the 6th of June. I've not started revising because I have essays. I have two essays due this week and my dissertation due the week after and then the week after is my essays. The main thing for this month has been obviously assignments and reflection, which I'm going to share a bit on. I do think I've ticked off a couple of things on my list actually, which is nice. I'm going to go check my list now just to see. But um, I have come to the conclusion that it's not everything on your list you're going to tick off. I will say that some of the things that haven't gotten ticked off on my list is my own fault. Um, which I feel really wrong about. Now that I think about it, I'm just off. I don't know why I didn't do that. I need to manage my time better. Recently, I've been watching Grace Beverly and it's been almost convicting. I'm like, don't let things, things that you're called to pass you because you're scared or you're not managing your time and so essentially sometimes that just is it and the harsh reality is that it's your fault but it's not that it's not that there's not grace 
and it's not that there would that the, that the grace of god will not make way for you again in another situation but it's just to kind of even be a lesson that don't miss the opportunity because of this or because of that because at the end of the day they're not good enough excuses and they just won't be like you can convince yourself yeah i didn't have time yeah i'm scared if you've been called don't think oh like number one i know people say this a lot but it's like oh like this isn't attached to anybody else it doesn't really matter it's attached to somebody listen everything every destiny every calling is attached to somebody else so don't be thinking oh this is only me like oh it's only about me that it's prideful actually even with that but that's another conversation for another day in essence this month like there's a couple things in terms of styling that i feel like i've been supposed to do and you know in the google calendar where it says pending tasks when i tell you i've moved those tasks every day this month and i potentially have missed some certain opportunities because of that but i also do have faith that the lord would open up other doors and i just pray that going into may i would be so much better at managing my time and you spend five hours on this essay no because you can actually do it in two hours because the lord i believe that the lord has given me the grace to balance things i just feel like if you're not tapping into that grace then it's not even nice i feel like i spent too much time on my essays and my work i feel like i've been quite locked up and i tend to do that i've always been like that ever since like um secondary school like i've always been very much like there's nothing else more important than work right now in this exam team there's nothing else i should be doing so i have been in that mode but i just pray that may is not the same and you, even may you'd think that it'd even be more like it because may is when i actually have exams and assignments while the april is more like okay preparing um but no i'm not making it that way this month has been a month of like a nude new found discovery of love um guys i have a boyfriend man <laughs> anyway i mean i'm talking about my natural hair um so you know when i do have one no anyway something i never thought i'd be able to love and begin to love which is so weird so so weird my natural hair has actually kind of grown if i'm correct i think it has honestly if you told me i'd be wearing my natural hair out chilling you know just casually with this forehead out i'd be like mm, okay but i've always said this that i've always wanted to like come out one day and be like yeah like my natural hair guys this is it da, 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 da. i just didn't think it'd come at this current moment i'm halfway there i would say because i haven't actually worn my natural hair out natural like in its natural state but um when i left the house today i was just like i was like i, was like, I feel so beautiful i feel so beautiful. and it was like so good like i just felt so grown i just felt like this bun hairstyle is just what it is i'm telling you guys this is it this is where it's at remember in that video when i was telling you guys how like i like long hair to cover my face like the sides of my forehead and i'm just like no i actually prefer my hair up i actually prefer when my face is out even if like like this like this where i look basically bold and look like nothing i like how i look so god cares so deeply guys just don't even think that you can't pray about things like like hair or beauty don't even think that but go and watch my video if you haven't it's going to be up there this has been a month where god has placed so many ideas in my heart um you guys would have known by now but i actually am planning an event by the grace of god you guys would have known because it will have actually happened um i'm planning an event to happen before the end of my uni experience so it will be like a last hurrah like hey guys this is what the lord laid in my heart I'm literally planning the entire event by myself well obviously with friends but like literally myself like with all these ideas and things and it's like wow scary i'm literally planning an event in the middle of exam season but i don't care like, i don't actually know the name of it i don't actually know many things currently in the process of trying to find a room funny enough i have checked on the dates that i want to do it or the potential provisional dates that i have set and there's no rooms available so i just know that the devil's a liar because you will not bring our room down the lord will make room for me there will be a room on not even there'll be two rooms on campus and you guys just wait and just wait you'll even be looking at this room be like glory to you'll even be praying you'll even be you'll even be or oh. when you see this video you'll be like oh, angela do you see what the lord did at your event yeah because pff, i've got rooms guys i've got rooms okay thank you gosh i haven't got to the point where i've told people I haven't got to the point where i've invited guests I haven't got to 
I don't even know. I've got my ideas, but the Lord's plan prevails, right? So if he wants to take a different direction, he can do that. But I haven't done that yet. Well, he's also given me new ideas for my YouTube. I keep, I find it so interesting I can tell you guys, because like, usually I'll just be like, no, I can't tell you because it actually hasn't happened. But obviously it has, because it's, anyway, created you like, hopefully you guys will be seeing that by now. Just um, another initiative that God kind of made in my heart. And I was like, ooh, like this would be great to do before the end of uni generally just so many things to do before the end of uni as a last thing and to be like god like i have all these creative friends people i know and it's like you've more used them people don't know the wisdom that come out of warwick and they need to know so creative unite is a great thing and i pray that it really flourishes my bun is coming out but yeah, i was looking at my list just now before i came back and I actually have done a couple things. I actually have done a couple things. This this month, I did kind of like fir do my first like pattern cutting back home in London, but I didn't finish it, which is a bit sad, but I'll finish it when I get back home, which will be in like June or July. But hopefully I can make a pair of trousers. If it flops, it flops. We, we go again, you know? I hit 300 subscribers today on YouTube, which is really fun. As I said, I feel like this has been a real month um of reflection like i've had moments of reflection and it's is interesting because like because you're getting to that point where it's like last term last push exams and then you're done and everyone's going through it and everybody's kind of asking the same questions so it's kind of i find it interesting how like not to say that people haven't stopped asking like oh what are you doing after uni da, 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 da. obviously people start asking that but i feel like there's a shift in like what are you doing after uni to kind of like um how do you feel like oh how have these last few years been like i can't oh i can't believe we're here like and it's very much more like sentimental very much more reminisce on what's happened and it's so like lovely also overwhelming i'm not gonna lie but it's lovely to be like oh actually like you know oh remember in first year remember in second like it's just so cool i was speaking with jade and barry yesterday and it's just like Oh, we have been through so much and now we're here like jada came back from her year abroad living with barry like met literally these girls on the first day of like uni ever and it's just like look at us look at us you know when like two years ago i got a two years ago video so it was basically first year of us like in aldi making a tiktok and i was just like look at us yeah like just those moments where you think back and you're just like oh wow and you think forward and you think oh wow okay leaving warwick you want me to grow up why do you want me to grow up i don't want to but i have to hello wow wow this is good hmm. real good welcome to the may recap may was the longest month of this year it felt so long i cannot even like tell you guys month I, like things happen but i'm trying to even remember so i think i'm gonna go backwards <clears throat> first of all let's address this look i'm really coming becoming a lot more comfortable with like just natural hair so i took out my braids yesterday and um, this is my first time ever wearing my natural hair out like natural because obviously it was straight in before this is like blow dried version slicks back this is also my first time slicking my hair back and I'm, i think i did a pretty good job you guys want to see the 360 book me hair by angie Let's recap i got my nails done yesterday finally guys these are gorgeous like you cannot be serious like look i just love this for me um i'm just gonna be doing like this a lot so just get used to it this is my biab of course you guys know and just so summery and i just can't wait oh i'm going to a barbecue which is why i'm just like this i'll show you guys the full thing later but i actually wore this for my 20th birthday and i've worn it since and i feel like it's gone tighter which isn't a bad thing because i like to gain weight but um i feel like it probably just shrunk i don't know um but it's definitely really really pretty the slit is, feels a bit high but yeah so where are we now to my baby west <laughs> i just thought like 
basically i finished my exams on tuesday meaning i will be a graduand period and my graduation date is on the 25th of july for the grade school everything will go perfectly um by the grace of god this exam will go perfectly as well it has been stressing me out a bit but i've just been trusting in the lord and not in the content of the module <laughs> because if i did all hope would be lost did like a full face today which i don't usually do um i haven't actually worn lashes since ccs which was march basically i'm trialing my lashes for the event this week which next week as i'm going to talk about so i went to tk maxx and i bought well obviously you guys can't really see it because it's on my face but this is what i bought um and then i also bought this as well a bit 3.99 which is really good so i'm trying these ones to see which ones i want to wear for the event currently these are like half lashes so the inner corner i'd like put mascara which i'm not usually used to but i do like the look of half lashes i think these are nice and natural but i don't know if i want to wear them for the event so the next time i wear makeup which will be on thursday um i'm gonna try the other lashes because i have something fun that i'm filming may the month of may i have um decided well, the lord has decided for me to host an event and it's crazy to me but um yeah it's literally in six days time now which is mad um it's probably taken the whole of may in terms of like planning and all of that basically and um i'm excited i'm also a little, little bit stressed you know i've been planning a little bit my first time so it's like obviously i'm finding my feet but there's nothing that the lord cannot do what has it taught me this month it's taught me so much about balance as you guys know i'm in an intense exam season as in these are my actual finals like this isn't second year it's not first year this is final year and god forbid i would like risk time for the event and not put it into my studies but i believe in the the way that the lord has planned things so efficiently that he would position me here so that um i would have the capacity for both and i feel like um i'm literally living testament to that even though i haven't finished my exams yet but i've gone through four already which has been a lot considering a lot of my um friends or like uni mates have like 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 had like one or two exams and they finished like two three weeks ago and i'm still here but the testament it's just a testament to the lord i had my dissertation like seven days before my exam started and i've just been going at it since like april um so it's been really tough like academically but um the lord has sustained me up until this point and i know he will not let me down until the finished work is done essentially i just feel like um and my current prayer is prayer against like anxiety about exams that has definitely been most of this month it's literally just been the harvest and revising if you guys don't know it's called the harvest um i'm not going to film the initiative because I've done it so much on my Instagram and I'm quite tired. And if you come to the event, then you will see. And there'll probably be a video out. Obviously, you would have seen it by now. Um, if it is, by the race of God. Because we do plan to have videography on the day. That reminds me to message people. Okay. There are many things to do. Like, event, I should do a video on this. Like, event planning has taught me so much. So much. We saw that yesterday, which was really, really fun for us. You literally cannot have any more people in the room. The capacity is zero a lot of endings i'd say so pence ended so my time on the exec ended so i'm currently an ex exec member uh, and it felt so bittersweet because it's so lovely to see the new exec and the way that they're thriving and are going to thrive but it's also like wow like i'm actually like it's starting to hit more like things that you put at the forefront of your uni experience i don't know why i did that the forefront of your uni experience like for me it was pence it was obviously academics but it's like there's other things so um when those things come to end it's like okay uni actually is coming to an end when people are telling you like bye people are telling you i hope to see you again have a nice life it's like where, where, where are we going we're, we're going somewhere I, di I didn't know i was leaving and then it clicks and but it was so like lovely like um we had the handover session that was the same session that told my testimony the week after the new exec took over so that was the last session and they surprised us with flowers which was really really sweet we still have them now they are kind of dying but ugh, nature last like a couple weeks ago we had like a final year like appreciation kind of thing it was really really sweet it was actually the day after 
like the day of my exam so i had finished the exam and i was completely burnt out just to tell you i did not look as good as this but a couple of the first and second years planned a final year appreciation for some of us third years and it was really really sweet really really like again like showing more that while wow, we actually are leaving it was just so like let me show you guys the book um they got us all books so this is mine oh sorry about that this is mine they got my picture and everything natural hair girly and they wrote some stuff inside which i'm not going to show you guys because it's personal yeah but it was really really fun So we are going this is very yes. you probably have seen her on my channel yeah of course but yeah we're going to the barbecue now and i don't know why this is turning into a vlog this is actually not supposed to be a vlog <laughs> but i was talking about my month of may doing a monthly review thing and now we're kind of going into like the second half of the year which is crazy like it's gone quick but as i said i felt like may was a really long month there's i just feel like there's gonna be a shift and I don't know what that will be, but I guess you guys will have to wait until the end of June. And then I'll be able to kind of recap what I feel like. Because June is a is a month of like a lot of changes, as is May. And also July, because of graduation. Yeah, that's why I feel like there's going to be a shift. So maybe by the end of these 30 days, you guys will see. And definitely, obviously, after the event, there'll be things to document and talk about but i'm gonna see you guys later bye. bye hey guys if you saw where i was putting this you would be like why like you actually want your phone to break but anyway by the way i'm wearing this um let's review the month of june as you can see different setting and back home for good this time one of the last things i said is that i feel like this like june is going to be very different and i didn't know why but i just felt like june and like the second half of the year is just going to be interesting june was probably the best month i've had this entire year actually the best month it was so different in june i finished my exams i finished university altogether and i officially became a graduate now graduate is an interesting term because like initially like i feel like you'd call yourself a graduate when you receive your grades and you know graduation date all of that stuff but you know it's when you finish those exams that you are a graduate officially and i believe that genuinely because of faith and faith in the fact that the grades will align with the will of god and the work ethic you've put in and, um just the favor and the excellence that the lord has called us to yeah so i finished my exams on the 7th of june and um as you guys know if you don't know you should know i hosted an event called the harvest on the 10th of june and that was probably one of the most stressful weeks i've ever had um definitely this year so essentially when i finished on the 7th I, I, my exam was 24 hours and I slept for one hour and then I went to go and do my hair which I need to take out tomorrow because it's been a while but it's lasted me long um and then came back and literally it was just full force like planning prep like that same day um my team went to shop for the food like things were just going on I hadn't done my workshops I hadn't done like a lot of things I had to plan prayer calls all of these great things that had to happen in three days or less than three days and yeah it was quite a stressful three days like not getting sleep and just like doing things more than I thought I had left to do but I think because of my exams I just wasn't weighing up the costs much because there was I was just trying to focus on my exams obviously um yeah with the event you have to be there if you weren't there that's okay because there'll be more god just like i think the har the harvest is just my thing now the harvest whenever i hear the word harvest i just smile because i'm just like that is my thing in this current season the second of july i'm still harvesting not even just with the event but just in life i'm harvesting and i'll explain why but essentially i feel like that event it signified the vision of god coming to completion it signified the fact that i have a personal relationship with god and the reason i say that is because i've never 
in the last month i've just felt god be so personal with me like as in you are my daughter as in i want to do a work within you like not all oh, like jesus loves everyone like yes he does but like i felt very very personal and close with god this month and it was so beautiful and it was so like loving and i felt so much peace and i just that's why it's just so unexplainable that's why the bible says it surpasses human understanding in john 14 27 and it's just like that day was was a bit stressful because um i got there late my team were already there bless them and i was like bro we need to start we need to start we need to start but in my head it was like things weren't weren't not everything was set up and like i was just like okay like um getting stressed and i was thinking i need to get into event mode like i'm actually hosting the entire day like, this is not a oh like you have your segment this isn't like ccs where i spoke for 40 minutes 40 minutes 40 minutes just not like the more event where i spoke, spoke for 40 minutes had my section done you are doing a five hour event you are the host of the day and you are hosting jesus as well so i said cool okay definitely like you know a bit high tension but i think because i had so much excitement i think honestly one of it when you're guys if i was just to talk a sermon today you need to be obsessed with your vision because when you're obsessed no matter how much when there's fear the excitement will override it because i had so many worries that could have gone wrong that day but because I was so excited for the harvest, like I cannot explain how excited I was for the harvest. Um, like there were things, that were, ugh, guys, I was excited basically. I was really excited. So like that took over everything. It was a nice day, it was summer's day, it really was so nice. Seeing so many different new faces, people coming from all over the UK. And I was like, God, you actually did this and you did this through me. And I'm like, how, how? My workshop, went perfectly to the plan of the lord i know i could have personally done better but that was um <clears throat> the thing is, even me saying that is like god did what he needed to do because i think god used that as an as a chance for me to exercise leaning on the holy spirit because um yes i do lean on him but like i'm also a planner like i'm like you know strategically like i need to know exactly what i'm gonna say i need to have notes behind my presentation i had absolutely no notes behind my presentation i never had any time to make notes but god was like if you would just lean on the holy spirit which i've deposited inside of you then you would understand that your words will speak for itself and they most sure it did because that was not me that was the holy spirit i still think about that day like i just feel after that day i felt so accomplished and um i probably spoke about it in a post about like the important like how obedience equals success but i'm not going to get into that but i felt so obedient the next day i remember just kneeling and crying in church the next day because i just felt so like it's a feeling when you feel obedient and you feel like you've done what god has asked you to do i can eat that up but um let's talk about the rest of the month that was the 10th of june i got to just experience a life as a graduate after like i got to experience rest i got to experience life as a graduate which was really fun and just relaxing i got to relax for once guys i genuinely felt like i hadn't relaxed since second year i'm not joking with all the responsibilities i had in third year with working remotely with um serving at pensa with doing content oh my doing styling and just trying to build my personal brand trying to keep up with things and keep up with praying and like not to say you don't pray when you're you know relaxed but i just mean like those certain calls to discipline that i had that i've never had before in my life with going through certain situations in q1 that literally wrecked me and or could have wrecked me but the devil didn't win and it took so much prayer. I've never fasted so much in my life, guys. It felt so lovely to sit back and dwell in the harvest and dwell in the, the joy of the Lord. And when I say harvest, I mean harvest season, not the harvest event. Because especially, and it, it spoke to me so much because I remember 
when I was in a season that was not the hottest, um, watching the video by Melody Alyssa that was talking about the four spiritual seasons, I was like, God, I can't wait for my harvest. I can't wait for the harvest season. And I feel like that's where I'm at right now. I feel like things are going well. And I know that things don't won't always be like this, but it's so important to document when they are because you remember that the, the larger hindsight that you had over things when you were more positive and all of those things. And it lets you re remind you of the goodness of God and it reminds you that there's a reason why you are praying. There's a reason why you're praying at 3am. There's a reason why you're crying at 3am. There's a reason why you're crying to your friend. There's a reason why, reason why you are speaking in tongues for hours. It's so you can have moments like this. And so you can reap your harvest. Um, and I do believe I'm in a season where I'm reaping my harvest. And I feel very, very thankful. And I feel like there's little things that will obviously try, but I'm just got to block them out. But it felt weird. Like, there was moments where I was, like, I wasn't upset, but I was adjusting. Because I'd never been in a situation for like a period of time where i i didn't have much to do I woke up and i was like okay hey, wake up pray bible study it's like okay hey, what do i do now i think i just lost my concept of time and i was just like bro because it was like the first few weeks that i was actually like sleeping for like you know eight to ten hours but there were still things in the works you know what i mean like there were still things being done like remember after the harvest god was bringing up creatives unite which you guys have probably seen by now obviously seen by now and I was like, hey, like, we need to plan Creative Unite. Like, Creative Unite was literally the week after the harvest. Like, I sent I sent the message on the 12th of June, which was two days after the harvest. Um, and it got done that week. I got to do some cool new things. Like, I got to play tennis for the time for the first time. I, w I got back into swimming once or once. Because I used to do swimming, like, 10 years ago. Like, yeah, 10 years ago. Like, literally, um, primary school. I think it was hard to process and it still is hard to process now that the reality is you're not coming home for two weeks you're not coming home for a month you're not coming home for three months even for a holiday you are this is where you reside which is why doing up my room which is why it's messy because like been building because this room we are redecorating you have seen that vlog i've I declared that you have seen that vlog in there. I started working, so I'm working for a fashion designer, which I have been working for a year now, but as an intern. But now I'm on contract, which is really fun and fresh. So I work part time, and it's really great because I now have really like time to just focus on like content and styling which i'm really excited to do i remember when i was sitting in those exams and i just kept on thinking i cannot wait to be a content girly like i cannot wait to literally break the internet with my content like um i hope it's broken by now but um yeah the ideas that god has given me so far i'm just like how much bigger can god go clearly because he's gonna keep going do you know what i mean i really don't like the fact that it looks like i'm naked um i just love when god gives me ideas like yesterday i was sitting with him he was just like, yeah, he's doing this, doing this, doing this. And I was like, yes, yes. That's what we're doing. This is what we're doing. When we get back, they don't know what is going on. Like, um, I recently got on some PR. That's a whole nother Like, so much has happened this month. Like, guys, this is my first time getting PR in six months. I've not had PR since December. And there's many reasons to it. One of it is I feel like God is teaching me something. He's teaching me something, but also God is teaching me a lot about worth. Um, and some of the emails I've gotten have not equal to the value that I have because I'm a, I believe I'm a valuable person as well as a creator. I'm a valuable person before I'm a valuable creator, and when I don't feel like brands are appreciating that, I, baby, back it up, back it up. Just praying because results day is literally this week, guys. I'm a glasses girly now. They even got flowers in them how cute but they fit so well i feel like they don't look good with the hat on Ooh. but i actually like them i actually think they're really nice and they're so clear i mean i was before but like i was actually ignoring the spec savers appointment so i guess that's my fault but i'm fine to wear glasses but yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna finish this off here so couple things i just checked in my calendar i think i mentioned creative you know that's something i started 
film four episodes in one week an entire series so exciting hopefully you guys have enjoyed that if you haven't watched it please do watch the whole series service charge should also be on youtube that is an interview series that i did in june and my first like interview i guess well okay really cool really looking forward to the second half of the year it's made me look forward to the second half of the year and just the things that god wants to do in my career because no more uni just career and vibes and god and um I'm excited to see what would happen from there. Very thankful for how far I've come in the last year and how much I've grown in my relationship with God. Is and I know we say it like that, but it's like, bro, like the personable way that God is, like he's so personable and he just loves so like God is a God that loves hard. He loves hard, he loves well. Um I could speak about him for ages, man, but amen. But yeah, I'll see you guys in July after graduation.